Hello everybody, my name is Okwaluwa and welcome to I Am Positive. Today I'm going to be talking to us about antiretroviral treatment, aka ART, and I'm going to be um, educating us on it based on my own personal journey with the treatment. Now because today is a class, we're educating ourselves, right? I want to be serious, you know, wear my glasses and everything. Pardon me, pardon me, please look serious and everything right so the professor at uh, EC uh a class a prep anyway that means that the professor is here is the class ready that being said um so we'll go back to 2016 again after I found out about my uh, about my status from my cousin at the time after two weeks of crying <laughs> Being depressed, having suicidal thoughts, um, going through self pity, I decided it was time to go to the um, HIV clinic in Military Hospital Ikoi. Now, when I got there, I met with the counselor. She spoke to me about the process and then she went ahead to do a confirmatory test for me at the lab. When the test came out, she told me that, oh, it has been confirmed that I actually have HIV. And then she went on to tell me what the ne what the next steps would be, which should be for them to take my blood sample, and that blood sample was going to test my liver function, my kidney function, um, was going to test my CD4 count and my viral load. Now the essence of all of this test is to determine what line of drug to give me because I think I believe there's the first line drug and then the second line drug depending on how high your viral load is. Thankfully. My viral load wasn't too high and I was placed on the first line drug. So the the way it works is the higher your CD4 count, the lower your viral load. And once you have a low viral load, you're good. Like so they always encourage you to use your ARTs to reduce your viral load, thereby increasing your CD4 count. Now your CD4 count is what um the immune system used to fight away sicknesses and viruses and bacteria and infections and all of that, right? So yeah, that is it. Anyway, at the time when I found out about my status, I was told that my CD4 count was a little below 300 and I think the normal CD4 count is between 500 and 1000, I believe, yeah, between 500 and 1000 and mine was already a little below 300. Anyway, after they took my blood samples and did all those tests, I was told to come back two weeks after. When I got back two weeks after, I met another counselor, Mr. Amizi, who was so amazing, like, he was more empathetic, he was more encouraging, he was more loving it felt like i had met like a mini father so to speak i mean he, he opened his arms to me he opened his home to me his wife and his children were so welcoming he really helped me through my process of getting strong and just being um a better person or even being the person that i was before i found out about my status so yeah i wanted to say i wanted to use the opportunity to say a very big thank you to mr and say god bless you so so much i hope that one day i can repay you for all your kindness at that period anyway that being said I was introduced to my first line drug and that was going to be a pill per day. Now, that pill was to be taken two hours on or before eating. On or, wait, you know, two hours after or before eating, right? And then as soon as you use it, you advise to sleep because the drugs are, the drug has a lot of, uh, how do I put it now? The drug makes you sleepy, it makes you dizzy, you can hallucinate in the process, you can have weird dreams and all of that. So it's better use it at night and then the next morning you can face your day when the drug would have worn out, right? So I remember then, it was crazy, man, guys. I used to have the craziest dreams ever. Animals all around me, my bed. I think sometimes I see myself sleeping in the bed of river. I don't know, it was just so weird. Sometimes I'm on the helicopter. It was crazy, I must say. It was really crazy. And the... um. The, each pill contained um, three different, had three cons constituents, excuse me. It had um, Efavirenz, Lamovidine, and Tenovo at the time, yes. So that's how consistently I used it. And after nine months of consistently using my drug, I became undetectable. Now, what that means is undetectable means untransmittable. So you see a lot of you equals you, undetectable equals untransmittable. So if you're new to this whole HIV treatment thing, I would advise that you use your drugs daily at the same time that you have set to use it. That way you're suppressing the, the virus to the lowest, to the barest minimum such that it is undetectable. Does that make sense? Anyway, in future, I'm going to do another video about you equals you. Undetectable equals untransmittable. 
clear say clear anyway that being said after three years they changed the drugs again and um this new one actually this is the new one i use now it has dolite gravola movidin and tenovo if our parents was taken away and I think it was replaced with the but that's the one I use now. And this one we advise that we can use it any time of the day. It has no hallucination or dizziness properties in it. So I usually use it 5 a.m. every day. My alarm actually has a U equals U. So that really encourages me to use my drug because I need to be undetected, but not just for myself, but for the people around me, for the people that I love, right? Right, I need to stay healthy. So um this one is much better. And I also advise that when you're using your drugs, even if you forget, because sometimes you can forget, you might, I might not remember to use it at that 5 a.m., right? Or I might get busy and lose such a time. I use it as soon as I remember. So usually between 5 and 6 a.m., I've used my, my pill. However, even if you forget after that one hour period, you can still use it. Like my um, counselor would say, Mr. Rizzo told me then, he said, Okwe, when you miss your drug, anytime you remember during that day, use it. Don't wait till the next day because that means you are empowering the virus to be resistant to the ART, right? So you need to be consistent with your drug. A few hours of missing the drug is better than a full 24 hour cycle of missing it. Does that make sense? Right? Exactly. So um, that's how my own treatment has been. And it's been good. I mean, I'm living my normal life as you can see. I'm still using my drugs every single day. I remember to use my pill. And I usually have like... Um, my how do I put it now? What's this thing? Ziploc. I have a Ziploc in my bag that I carry around and I put like two pills in it just in case I go out and I'm not able to go back home that day. Do you understand? The next morning I can use it. It's also an advice I give to people. Try to do that just so that you're consistent with your drugs. Anyway, I hope you've been able to learn one or two things about it. If you have more questions, you can you can um send them to me at the comment section or send to my DM on Twitter and on Instagram. They are open to everybody. Um, you can also send an email if you really want to be private. My contact details I'm going to put in the comments in the description below. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, and to comment. I really, really appreciate you guys. Bye. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we.